Hello everybody, this is Leanne Min. I am so sad we can't be in person to be together to do our regular hymn sing on Sunday afternoons, but I thought I'd put together this program and maybe as we do this individually or in small groups that we have a spirit of of togetherness. And So let's begin, if you will, with me with our responsive scripture. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Let us pray. O oh, good and gracious God, we thank you. We thank you for this day. We thank you for this opportunity to pause and to reflect on you, to think about you, hear your word and offer our prayers to you and, and sing songs that proclaim who you are. So as we do this, May you receive it as a sign of our love for you, for we do love you and adore you and praise you. In Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad. Hear now a reading of the Gospel according to John, chapter 20, verses 1 through 18. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb. And we do not know where they have laid him. Then Peter and the other disciples set out and went towards the tomb. The two were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent, he bent down to look in and saw the linen wrappings lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came, following him, and went into the tomb. He saw the linen wrappings lying there, and the cloth that had been on Jesus' head 
not lying with the linen wrappings, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple, who reached the tomb first, also went in, and he saw and believed. For as yet they did not understand the scripture, that he must rise from the dead. Then the disciples returned to their homes. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb, and she saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had been lying, one at the head and the other at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there. But she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? For whom are you looking? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary, she turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not hold on to me, because I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending, ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. What a story of pursuing Jesus. Mary couldn't wait till daylight to return to where she last knew Jesus to be. She ran to where he was buried. When she got there, she saw that the stone had been removed. So she ran to get Simon Peter and the other disciple to tell them what she saw. And the three of them ran back to the tomb. Now what? They must have been thinking. Mary stayed at the tomb, and the others went home. At the tomb, Mary wept. She had a good cry outside the tomb, and then decided to look in. When she looked in, she saw two angels, and conversed with them about Jesus. And she turned around and saw a man, and conversed with him about Jesus. Suddenly, the conversation changed. The man called her by name. The man was Jesus, and Mary recognized him. Let me go. Don't hold on to me as I am now, Jesus said. Go to the disciples. Give them a message. I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. So Mary went to the disciples and declared to them, I have seen the Lord. May we all have the same passion and persistence to pursue the presence of our Lord. May we continue to share with others our experiences of the Lord in our speech and in our activities, in our words and deeds in our gatherings of fellowship and worship around the table, and in our stories about Jesus. Our relationship with God is not private, but it is personal. God calls us by name. Our relationship is in communion with the triune God and with others, and we express our personal experiences of God in our life stories, in our prayers, and in song. So here's a personal reflection in the form of a song, a hymn written by C. Austin Miles. He was a pharmacist and wrote this in 1912. His hobby was photography, and one day in his dark room waiting for some film to develop, he opened his Bible to his favorite chapter, 
John 20, the story of the first Easter, his imagination and prayerful interaction inspired this hymn. So please sing along with me in the garden. At this point in the service, we usually ask and invite prayer requests. Since I can't do that in person with you, I'd just like for us to be still for just a moment and bring to mind those things that are on our hearts and minds that are of concern. And bring those things to our minds that are joys, that are things to be thankful for. And we'll lift those up to the Lord in the words that Jesus taught his disciples. And we'll pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, 
and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Brothers and sisters in Christ, as you go from this place, go confidently in God's love for you, for he calls you by name. Trust that and respond to the call with joy and thanksgiving. And the call to tell others that we have seen the Lord. As you go, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you now and forever. Amen.